Wow, another drama in the art community. I swear, the drama never rests. This time, it's a TikTok trend that gathered quite a bit of hate, so today, that will be our fun topic. Hello, my dudes, it's Bree, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a happy holiday, and if you did, comment your favorite part of your holiday season. If you're new, I do commentary and art, so if that's the stuff you enjoy, why not subscribe? Anyway, to the video. So I was thinking about making this a video, but I wasn't so sure, so I made a TikTok giving a bit of my opinion on the situation, since that's where the situation originated anyway. But a commenter there suggested I made a full-length video, as well as this commenter on my YouTube asking me to cover it. So that's what I'm going to do today. This isn't meant to attack any specific sides of the situation, as I can kind of see through all aspects of it. So a couple weeks ago, a trend emerged. The trend was started after a user made a video complaining about how people use the compliment, Wow, it's so cool you have natural talent and how it felt like they were just disregarding the years of work it took for them to get where they are as an artist. They used the song Watch Me Work, which you could hear in Trolls 3, and the part of the song where the lyrics say, All my greatness, it doesn't come for free. All my talent, it doesn't grow on trees. And you know, th that's valid. I, I honestly agree. Having someone say something that you worked so hard to achieve just came naturally is pretty annoying. But soon, the trend just kind of removed the keyword natural. But like, the word talent by definition literally means the natural ability to do something well. So I see why people felt like adding the natural part wasn't really necessary since, yeah, talent is natural. So why clarify the meaning if it's literally in the definition? Well, apparently it needed clarification. People who participated in the trend gathered mobs of hate. Some people ending up just turning off their comments or deleting the videos as a whole because of how bad the hate got. I'll give an example of one of those videos now. And the arguments of the comments were basically just be grateful for your compliments. It's not that deep and you sound like a jerk, so just take them. And you know, I get it. Some of the TikToks come off rude. One of them literally features the artist forcefully grabbing someone's face, singing the lyrics angrily. So yeah, I can kind of see why they view the trend as like all being hostile. And sure, people just need to take the compliment and move on and not get worked up over it. But I really don't think that's what most of them are trying to say. I mean, sure, some of the people under the sound might be speaking in a hostile manner, but majority of them, I don't think so. I just think these artists are making videos, most we can consider vent videos even, are just speaking on their frustration of their art being dismissed as just talent, or natural talent or whatever you want to call it. I don't think they mean to have ill intent. They're just sharing their anger on something, which is completely valid. Do some of these TikToks come off rude? Sure. But are most of these trying to? Probably not. I don't think if you come up to them in person and call them talented, they're going to go off on you about how rude you are. Wow, you're so talented. I wish I could draw like you. <coughs> what? Now listen here, you little pr Like, no, I don't think any of them are going to start bursting out into song and saying, like, Oh, my talent, it doesn't cover- Yeah, no, I don't think they're going to do that. They're just stating their opinion on this compliment because they can. And you're fine to disagree. You're just stating your opinion as well. But, like, is attacking them personally necessary? And I saw so many artists saying, Well, this doesn't annoy me, so you guys are just being rude. Well, everyone is different, and what may not annoy you could annoy the next person. You not relating doesn't make their feelings wrong. They're allowed to be frustrated and they're allowed to dislike it. It's really not a problem unless they're actually being a jerk about it to people when someone says it to them. And for people actually going out and being jerks about this, why not just be polite and explain your frustration? Don't go off on someone about this because look, yes, it's frustrating. But I think when most people call you talented, they mistake talent for skill. I don't think these people just think you came out of the womb with the ability to draw. They probably just viewed talent and skill as the exact same thing and mean no bad intent. They're just trying to compliment you and most likely don't realize how it might come off. Hell, sometimes even I accidentally use the word talent over skill. But of course, there are people who say talent and mean it as it comes naturally and they put themselves down right after complimenting you. And yeah, it can be annoying and it's just super awkward when this happens. And most of us just don't know how to respond to you beating yourself up right after a compliment and we just spit out an awkward thanks. And someone in my comments of my TikTok brought this up, so I'm just going to clarify this here so we don't have to do this like a hundred times. They said talent and skill are the same, so why are there even complaints? They argued that they're synonyms, thus meaning they have to mean the same thing, which is wrong. Synonyms, by definition, yes, mean words that are exactly the same, but they also mean words that are nearly the same. So kind of in the same sense, but not quite. Like I said earlier, talent means a skill or ability you're good at that comes naturally, while skill means the ability that comes with training or hard work. So while they are similar, they're most definitely not the exact same. But them being synonyms shows the point of how people really just mix them up, and that's why they say talent over skill. And like, yeah, it's not a huge deal, and if someone called me talented, I would be extremely happy and grateful because I really don't mind. And most of these artists wouldn't care in the moment either, but just because it's not a big deal doesn't mean they can't complain or dislike it. Like, I dislike when people chew with their mouths open. 
Am I going to start yelling at someone because I dislike it? No, I just move on with my day. Does it still annoy me? Absolutely. The same goes for these artists. It annoys them, but if they were to be called talented in real life, they'd most likely say thanks and move on. It'll still annoy them, but they have the right to be upset even if you disagree. I kind of feel like people are being a bit dramatic about this, as it's really not that deep, and if you disagree with the term talent being annoying, that's fine. And sure, you can complain about the trend if you dislike it, that's valid, I get it. But why personally attack people? Like, people are legitimately harassing people over this trend, which is ridiculous. There are ways to dislike things and be civil people. And a funny thing I've seen people bring up and say is, why the heck are you guys venting to a troll's audio anyway? But like, is anyone actually surprised? People have vented to Eric Cartman audios before, and to people genuinely annoyed about this, the audio choice really isn't that deep. The people making the vents aren't focusing on the context of the audio, they're just trying to find audios of the words that can correctly express the words they want to say. And on the topic of the audio, people are saying that people using these sounds are just acting like they're on their high horse because of the lyrics, all my greatness. But I don't think they're trying to act superior or anything. It's just a part of the song, and they're mainly referring to the all my talent doesn't grow on trees part. I mean, some of the people are probably being arrogant, but most of them, I don't think so. But I could be wrong, of course. And yeah, this aspect isn't that important, but I thought it's something to bring up since those things were also brought up a lot. And to the people who are mad about this trend and are taking this as the okay to just start hating on people's art, just why? You can be mad at the artist, but why make fun of the art? We need to start learning to separate the art from the artist because it's becoming so much of a problem. The art didn't do anything, it's the creators the one you're mad at. It's a jerky thing to do, and you of course can dislike their work, but you don't have to hate on someone just because you think it's bad. Most of the artists are getting told their art is bad due to this trend, and they're actually really skilled. Most of the people saying this aren't saying this because they actually believe it's bad, but because they think they're just putting them in their place or whatever because they made this video. But on the topic of talent being a harmful term, for people who genuinely believe artists are born with the abilities they have, and they think they can't get into art because they're bad at it or weren't born with it, that's simply not true. Nobody is born with artistic abilities, and nobody is unable to do art. I think the mindset of art as a talent or natural talent, if you will, is a really bad mindset. By saying that, you are automatically holding yourself back when you really shouldn't. Art takes practice and someone might say, well, I've been practicing for years and I haven't improved. Just because you don't improve in a wanted time frame doesn't mean you can't improve. Everyone moves at their own pace and that's okay. And maybe try another form as well. Art isn't just drawing people and it's not just drawing. And maybe you just haven't found your style. There's abstract painting, there's sculpting, there's classic drawing. There's so many types of art, and just because one might not work out for you, there's so many other forms for you to try. You need to stop bringing yourself down because you're preventing yourself from having fun and doing art. Things might not go your way in your art journey. You might not improve at your wanted pace, but that's okay. One of the best things about art is the artistic journey you have throughout your life as an artist. And this mindset is the mindset that drives potential artists away, and that's sad. All of the pieces you make are art. No matter how bad you view it as, or how big of a mistake you think you made on it, it's okay to be mad about these things. Even I get worked up over my art process, sometimes to the point where I'm genuinely mad and have to take a break, but that's okay. Your emotions during the creation of your pieces are a part of your pieces, but don't quit when things don't go your way, and don't stay away from doing art in fear of things not going your way. Art will never be objectively bad. What may be bad to you may be a piece that inspires another. Overall, these are just my opinions, and if you disagree, that's fine. People can say and do what they want, and I'm not going to try and stop you. I just wanted to give my opinion on things, to give my take on the situation, and defend the artist getting hated on. This isn't meant to attack any sides of the situation, and I can kind of see both sides on this, but I do think people are being a bit overdramatic. I get how it could seem rude, but I also get the frustration fellow artists feel. I just wish big dramas over such small and dumb things didn't exist, but this is the internet, and that'll never change. Also, check out Malicious Mouse's take on the situation. I think their video is underrated, and funny enough, I saw it while in the making of this video. I watched it, and it's really good. I'll link it in the description for you guys to watch it. They give their thoughts and bring up good points. I also want to give a big thank you to my grandpa, who bought me a new mic that's compatible with my computer and phone, as well as getting me an iPad for my speed paint, so it really helps a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Make sure to comment your thoughts and opinions, even if you disagree with me. I always like the discussion. And with that, love your art, love yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!